Okay, glasses are working. We're gonna do some cruel and unusual treatment for so red cat was piranha. That, was that made to be a jump or did you find that? Something? Some guy built that for his kid as a skate ramp. There was actually another piece on the top. It went completely vertical. We had an auction for the guy. I said, hey, what is that thing out in your back 40 that looks like a ramp? He goes, it's a ramp. I built it for my asshole kid. Why you want it? Take it. He gave it to me and I brought it home from some guardrail company up in Albany. And it's been labeled the Punisher and I've been using it ever since. It is YouTube famous for all 12 people that watch my videos. I would have said... I'd call it the asshole kid. Hey, hey. It's not very nice to RC cars. And the ground sucks here, so I can't really get a good run at it. I have to smooth this fucking place so I can do something. I have worse wrecks on the ground than I do off the Punisher. Boy, this thing flies nice. Ooh, I got too much shit buried over there. Fucker. Wow. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna go over on the track with the little jumps for a while. This isn't really that exciting off the Punisher. Tom is playing with his Vortex Boost that he has upgraded to four wheel drive, but he's still running the rookie brush system. And he doesn't need the brushless because he doesn't know what he's doing yet. I'm pretty sure he's still on 50%. I'm up to 75. 75 now? Oh, he's moving on up like that little black guy that had his own TV show. <laughs> First rule of thumb, Tom, don't stand in the track when you're driving. Get off to the side so you can see where your car is all the time. You'll get dizzy and wear your ankles out. Or I'll wear your ankles out when I hit you. You're getting better. Are you showing off for the camera? Because you weren't going that fast a few minutes ago. <laughs> Try not to knock a wheel off your new truck. If I knock a wheel off mine, I'll just go put the battery in another one. Oh. That's a good looking truck. I'd have had one for my channel by now if you didn't buy one first. Oh, you're alright. You can drive out of there. You got four wheel drive. <laughs> Ah, ah. Fucker. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. That's tough here.
Hey, don't crash my car, what the hell. Now I'll crash it myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's what the walls are for. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to build a new wall, Tom. Don't knock it down. <laughs> Well, you should build a mud boss car. You'd be good at it. That's all we do. My battery's pootering out already. I charge up too, though. I haven't tried this thing with a 2S LiPo in it yet. That's it. You gotta get time to bump that thing up to 100% and send it. <laughs> yeah. Just because it said it 100 doesn't mean you gotta use 100. That thing has uh, got lots of positions that your finger can make it operate at. That's the way you gotta train yourself, not full throttle all the time. You're standing in the track again, Tom. <laughs> ain't working. <laughs> truck is scared. It doesn't want to go over the ramp at 100%. You got her stuck. <laughs> Just don't drive over there in the middle of that infield. There's about three foot of water in that pond. Yeah. I mean, it's a brand new truck. I would just go in after it myself, but. <laughs> Not if you drive it in there, you won't. <laughs> I was hoping you'd do that. Ah. Mine's dead, so. Ooh, that drive's nice. You sure that's at 100? No, I cut it back down. Oh, I don't need that. Put it on 100. Where is it? I can't see it with my uh, recording glasses on. Okay, I thought that was that. Uh... Oh yeah, that's better. Ooh, that's smooth. That's way better than that crapper I'm driving. Oh, so I dig rocks out with it. Before I run it too hard and hot, I want to make sure your motor's not getting hot. Oof! 
Jesus Christ. Holy cow, look at the rocket dug out. I want to put a finger on the mortar because I ran it hard. I want to make sure your gear mesh isn't tight because you, you just change it. And, open up? Yeah. Well, however, I can get a finger on the motor. Because you were running it easy, it wouldn't heat up that way. Boy, those things are tight. I'm not even sure where the motor's at. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Gotta take the back ones off too. Um, my fingers are numb from the cold. Oh, that's the battery. That's not hot. Ah, you're good. That's nice and cool. That's important. It probably had a, a setting you probably didn't have to actually set the gear mesh. I don't know anything about it. Me neither. Nice looking truck though. Except for I scuffed the front end when I dug this boulder out. What's it for? <sighs> I might have to buy one of them so I can launch it off that Punisher over there. <laughs> I don't yeah. do that with other people's trucks yeah, anymore. I was just going to say, you'll have to buy one of <laughs> I did that with Ricky's uh, Red Cat Volcano and destroyed the fucking thing, so we don't do that anymore. <laughs> Look at it. Don't play. I'll do it a little more then. I'll make it YouTube famous. All 12 people are watching this, you know. Battery won't last long doing this, so it's a seven cell, though, right? Yep. I notice when you hit the brake, it doesn't go right back onto the throttle. That's a little weird. That might be a radio thing. Try to reverse it, yep. Heavy car for a 10 scale. A lot of meat in that son of a bitch. It is pretty rugged, but Arma's known for that. I'm gonna have to get an RC grader out here and fix the divots I'm putting in turn one on my track. I don't want to run your battery all the way down. It's nice to see it go around more than once. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go put another battery in mine. Maybe I'll put a battery in something else. I don't know. I think your battery is starting to go away already. Mine? Yeah. yeah. They don't last that long. Not like the crawlers. Alright. Got another battery in her. Uh, not broken yet. No. Well. Yeah. Well, when them batteries go dead, they're done. Well, let me get a picture of them side by side. I got your uh, Timu oh. car stand. Yeah. Goddamn pretty color. It is. It matches. Yep. And it matches your Ascent, too, doesn't it? Yep. And that kind of metallic red, too? Yep. And my, uh... And your little Ascent. Yep. <sighs> there we go. There's the evidence before the piranha gets broken. <laughs> this is the first time I've tried this with a 2S LiPo in it. There shouldn't be that much different really, but yeah, it seems to be. <laughs> you fucker. Ah! Upside down. Yep. Yeah. She got a little squirrely on me. That's how shit gets broke. Right there. That thing rips on a light bulb. Uh oh. <laughs> I just can't get a good run at that fucking ramp. You idiot. <laughs> Boy, I thought it looked like I knew what I was doing when I was running your truck. 
This thing don't drive through here worth a fuck. <laughs> Most two wheel drive trucks don't really have that good of it in air control. Man. I'm go over and hit the skate ramps a couple times before I break this thing in half. I won't even be able to get around the track with this thing on the light bulb. Come on, baby. Need some better tires, I think. These are better than what it came with. But they're just stock takeoffs from an arm of Vortex. hard that way. Uh-oh. Lost body mounts or something. Probably knocked the clips out of it. That is pretty... No, I broke the body mount. Uh -oh. Alright. Calling Red Cat for parts. Watch yourself. Very dangerous place you're standing. <laughs> you might not be in safety yet, Tom. <laughs> Remember I told you don't stand in the track when you're driving? Yep. Do as I say and not as I do. Watch what happens when I smoke myself in the ankle. <laughs> Want to try two-wheel drive? It's kind of fast. It's already broken. It's one of the cheapest cars I got. There's no shame in breaking it now. I am impressed that the body mount broke before the actual body did. Kind of parachuting a little bit on me now. <laughs> I've already got it broken, so I should probably take it back over to the Punisher. That's probably what broke the body mount. Yeah. Oof. That would have been a good jump if I didn't drop the wheel in between the ramps. Oof. Yep. She got a little hung up. Alright. Couple more Punisher hits because that's what I promised people. Let me get some of this pipe out of the way. Maybe if I come in from this angle, I'll be able to get a straighter run on it, but I doubt it. Gotta get some jumps out here. Then you gotta learn how to turn right and left. Well, we ain't got NASCAR? <laughs> well, we do on that track to take the jumps out. I'll let you run one of the dirt oval cars. That's a whole other game. You fucker. Ah. Yep. I'd have you stand over here and fix it for me, but I'm afraid I'd kill you. <laughs> Your wife already doesn't like me because you spend money on RC stuff. <laughs> She'd really hate me if I had to call her and tell her I had an ambulance coming here to pick you up. <laughs> that was a good one. I can't believe I haven't torn the body off the rest of the way yet. Uh. 
Woof. Boy, oh, that's rough. And if you break a car doing this shit, it's no fair to call a red cat and cry because you broke apart. Because that's just asking for it with a ramp like this. That's not telling you, that's telling the YouTubers because I'm still recording. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't have a YouTube channel. That's somebody else you watching doing that stupid shit. Ooh, something happened there. I lost power. It shut off in the air. Oh, that explains why it lost power. I don't think I've ever done that before. I ripped the lead right off the motor. <laughs> I don't have the suspension really set. It smells pretty warm. Maybe it melted off. It might have. I hope it's not that. Now it shut off right when I heard it hit the ramp. That's alright. It don't owe me nothing. That was very poor treatment for a $120 RC car. My fingers are so cold I can't even tell. I can't even tell if it's fucking hot. Thanks to the sugar. You can't really feel it through the plastic. Yeah, it oh, it's pretty hot right there. If you can hold your finger on it for three seconds, it's uh... Feel it. Put your finger right on the end of it. I can't feel it. Yeah. No. It's hot. I mean, you can probably hold it if you wanted. If you can hold it, it's not too hot. That's the general rule of thumb. If you can hold your finger on it for three seconds. Ooh, I lost that clip too. Son of a bitch, I'm lucky my light bulb didn't come flying out of there. It's really unsmart to use a ramp like that. I'm perfectly innocent RC guard. Well, that's why we do it.